Welcome to Electro Online. The McLaurin series can also be useful to solve limit problems like this. Let's say we're asked to find the limit as x approaches 0 of e to the x minus 1 minus x in the numerator divided by x squared in the denominator. And very quickly we can see that if we plug in 0 right away, we have 0 in the denominator, which makes this undefined. But if we recognize that we have an e to the x in there, and we remember the Maclaurin series for e to the x, this can now be written as the limit as x approaches 0. And instead of e to the x, we're going to write the infinite sum of that. That would be 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial, and so forth. We subtract from that. 1, subtract from that x, and then we divide the whole thing by x squared. Well, now you can see that if we subtract the 1 and the x from that, the first two ter terms go away. So this can now be written as the limit as x goes to 0. Now minus the first two terms, we end up with x squared divided by 2 factorial plus x cubed divided by 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial and so forth, and the whole thing divided by x squared. Now we're ready to divide the denominator into the numerator, which means that this is going to be equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of, well, x squared divided by x squared, which is 1, so we get 1 over 2 factorial plus x over 3 factorial plus x squared over 4 factorial and so forth, which means that all terms except the very first one has an x in the numerator. We have nothing but constants in the denominator, so now we're ready to let x approach 0. But that means that every other term besides the first one will go to 0, which means that this is equal to 1 over 2 plus, of course, 0, 0, 0, and so forth. Or we know that the whole sum or the, not the sum per se, but the limit as x goes to 0 of this actually is equal to 1 half. And that's how it's done.